Hello, I'm John Davis, and this video discussion will be a review of Dr. John Marsden's book, The Outrageous Idea of Christian Scholarship, and the reception it has received in the academic community. Marsden's work provides a history and model of the intersection between Christian faith and the world of modern academia, as well as Marsden's model for Christian scholarship. He argues that modern institutions of higher learning are descendants of Christian institutions, and while he is not pushing for a return to that, he believes that those institutions should be more accommodating to the expressions of faith within intellectual pursuits. Marston illustrates how numerous other groups are given full, and in cases even excessive, liberties in academic settings, while Christianity and a Christian worldview have largely become shunned in the academic world. Marston shows how core Christian beliefs such as creation, incarnation, and the Holy Spirit are actually the basis of moral structure many academics employ, but they cannot provide a sound reason for it without religion. I found the last chapter of Marston's book, Building Academic Communities, particularly interesting. Marsden again points out the decline of Christian identity in the vast majority of academic institutions and a requirement for the creation of communities of Christian scholars who can be mutually supportive in ensuring that they have a voice in the academic setting and that that voice can be heard. He talks about the possibility of Christian establishing Christian institutes or working through liberal arts colleges which still retain some semblance of a Christian identity but also discusses the fact that many of these institutions are being pushed to conform to a strictly secular model in the pursuit of excellence. Marston then expends a great deal of effort discussing methods to counteract this push towards secularism, discussing the importance of cultivating spiritual values in a section by that name in which he discusses turning the vices of academic life into virtues and how one can translate it into a model of service to others. He closes by showing how a further progression towards enlightened liberal culture may not lead to a corresponding improvement in world conditions and that that road does not offer what many are looking for, while Christian institutions which have retained at least part of their identity can. In his review of Marston's book in Academy 83, Lonnie D. Cliver gives a general overview of the work. The issue I have with his overview is that he continuously inserts remarks about how or why Marsden is missing the mark he set for himself with the title. Cliver eventually states that the whole of the book is less than the sum of the parts, of its parts. He does provide some reasons he feels the book is worthy of study, but even these are laced with backhanded compliments. Conversely, James L. Heff's reviews of Marsden's scholarship and writings is supportive, and he points to Marsden's overwhelming contribution to the discussion of the relationship between faith and learning from his December 1992 presidential address at the American Society of Church History entitled The Ambiguities of Academic Freedom through his two major published works, the soul of the American University, and the outrageous idea of Christian scholarship. In his article, The Academic Life as a Christian Vocation, Charles T. Matthews reviews several books, articles, and edited collections dealing with the blending or fusion of one's Christian beliefs with an academic life. Matthews begins his article with a look at Marsden's The Outrageous Idea of Christian Scholarship and treats it quite fairly, in my opinion. Matthews' greatest criticism of the work seems to be a desire for more particulars and a greater fleshing out of the material. Later in the piece, he points to Nicholas Wolterstorff's essay, Between the Pinchers of Increased Diversity and Supposed Irrationality, as being particularly helpful and stating that it be he believes it provides a model of Christian scholarship that Marsden would approve of. Thank you for watching.